Hey, ladies and gents, this week's edition of a Friday night in, um, in partnership with the official beer of Emirates Old Trafford and Lancashire Cricket Heineken. Uh, delighted to have uh, the gaffers with us today, uh, head coach Glenn Chappell uh, and assistant coach Mark Chilton, both been captains of the club, both great servants of the Red Rose. Lads, how are you doing in isolation? All right, thank you, lad. You okay? I was, yeah, very good, thanks. What's been uh, what's been happening? We have to st- we have to start off with with it. We're having a chat about isolation. We're in our fifth week now. Are you climbing the walls as much as I am? Um, well, there's there's things about it that are, that are quite nice, if we're honest. Um, the chance to spend some time with the kids and um, catch up on all the jobs that you've been nagged about for years. <laughs> uh, but you know, to be honest, like everybody else, most of that's done now, and. Um, and the weeks seem to be blending into one. Uh, we, we were out with the neighbours on the road last night and realised it was the fifth week. Um, and it, uh, it's surprising how quickly it's gone, to be honest. But um, you do find yourself wondering if there's anything worth, worthwhile that you can find to do. Um, but I think, obviously, you've got to remember what, what, what we're doing it for and, and the serious nature behind it. And um, you've got to do the right thing. Absolutely, I don't know about about you, chap, but uh, my gardens never looked as good. All the fences are painted and everything. Um, that's, well, I uh, cleaned the decking about five times. Um, <laughs> I relayed half the patio and repointed it. And stupidly, I took my builder's advice about pointing the patio because everybody else had told me to dry point it just by brushing the pointing in and then wetting it in. Yeah. But my builder, who I trusted, told me I needed to wet point it on my hands and knees. So after seven hours on my hands and knees and not being able to stand up again, <laughs> I, was, I was cursing him. Um, but like you say, it's a new skill. Um, it's not. It's probably not a new skill I'll ever use again. But um, it's something I've done. It makes you realise that um, you know everybody works hard in their professions, and you build up a tolerance for things, don't you? So you know bowlers build up a tolerance for for being able to get through the day bowling. But flipping neck builders, slain patios. Uh, oh my God! On the whole new level, mate. Chilly, you're 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 a very refined character, and you, you, I can't see you getting on your hands and knees and getting your your elbows dirty in in concrete and all that stuff. What have you been up to? Uh, pretty similar to Glenn, really. I mean, I haven't done any point in, but um, <laughs> you know, fairly fairly boring stuff out the back. You know, I've done the fence, or we've done it. I mean, I've still got an eleven year old and, and uh, twelve, thirteen, and eleven year old girls, and the eleven year old. You know, we do we do lots of stuff to keep the kids entertained. Really, yeah. we, we've been we've been doing a bit of work. We've been staying in regular contact on the situation. Um, but outside of that, it's been very much um, very similar to, to what Chappie said. Time to spend with a family. Um, you see things like you have more time to plan your meals, and you know <laughs> stuff like that. Like that. All the cooking hasn't been very stressful. I've had the, the with the weather being so fantastic, we've had the uh, barbecue out a fair bit, and like you say, my garden never looked quite so good. Um, I've been watching lots of shows on the trampoline. Um, <laughs> the <like> trampoline. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to do some year six maths and brush the cobwebs away. Mm. Um, Got to do some after this. So, um, yeah. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I'm just on the phone. <laughs> I love it. That's perfect. <laughs> that is absolutely. I'm going to say you both, you fairly, both got kids. Fairly typical of, of, you know, what happens here. You try and have five minutes in the office. I've been in all morning this morning, so she's getting twitchy. She wants some help with the work. Bless her. What about you, Chappie? You've got, you've got two young kids, both, both sports mad. Um, you know, Joe loves his cricket. How was have you been bowling? Have you been batting in the back garden? I bet he's bet he's climbing the walls, isn't he? Yeah, well, my kids are a bit older than Chili's, but yeah, they both play sport. My daughter plays a lot of hockey, and Joe's obviously mad keen on cricket and football now. Um, they're both cursing me a little bit that I've not got astroturf in the back, so they can at least practice some skills. And the lawn's nowhere near good enough for for Joe's cricket or the hockey, um, so that's a bit of a frustration for them. We've been more down the fitness route with 
we've all got into these um, fitness watches and we're setting each other little challenges on runs. So um, harsh realisation the other day when my daughter came back from a 10k run two and a half minutes faster than me. Um, <laughs> given how hard I've been working and thinking I was getting somewhere. That's great. Comes back from a 10k run with a two and a half minute advantage on me. So I'll be going out later to try and um, close some of that back. He's getting quite competitive, Warren, with this. So is he? Um, yeah, he got his new watch. So, but we bought these Garmin's when they're fat, they're great bits of kit, and you can share all your information. And right, it's been good, and it chappy. But it's uh, you know you spur each other on a little bit, just trying to trying to. Well, the problem, the big problem is you know when you as an as an ex sportsman, you've got you've got your last run in your mind, and you've got a time, and halfway through your run, even though you might not be feeling as good as you were uh, the last time, you know you've got to beat that time. So it's. It's a pretty tortuous way of training at the moment, but it, it is something to something that you can put some time in and try and get back to a reasonable level. I think what what we do, we we're lucky that we're active doing our jobs, um, but not much of it is specific on the fitness that we used to be able to do. And obviously, we're, we're well, you get into an age where it's it becomes frustrating that you can't work at the level you used to. Um, back to the. The other stuff we've been doing at home, me and uh, I've had a bit of a row with the wife this morning. Um, <laughs> the, uh, she said, just, just one? And, well, I rolled over and she said, you stink. <laughs> <laughs> but me and, me and Joe are massive Indian food fans. So we've been, uh, we've been cooking about five curries a week. Um, and they're just getting spicier and spicier and more garlicky and more garlicky. So <laughs> I rolled over. she said, you're going to have to stop using so many spices. <laughs> um, but you know that's that's been good fun. They're back to they're back to school now, so uh, luckily they're managing with their um, schoolwork without any help from us, because um, I'd be pretty useless at home schooling. But they seem to be getting on with that well, and they're doing all right at that. So, so what do, what do you mean they're back to school in but like virtual classrooms? Yeah, they log in in the morning, they answer the register. Um, yeah. they They've got these programs, I think it's Google Classroom or something like that, and they, they set lessons to do and work to do. They can have interactive, well, they can chat to the teacher if they've got any problems. Um, and they've got a set work schedule that they have to do. And unless I don't know the full story, it seems to be going all right. Um, we, we're, getting, we're getting blue cards sent through, so they can't be doing too much wrong. That's good, and you, you, meant, you mentioned you mentioned cooking as well, Chili. What you must uh, are you? Who's doing the cooking in your house? Is it is it you or is is, is Haley is Haley doing it? No, I'm all right. You know, I mean, I don't just follow instructions, don't you? I mean, the, the, the disappointing thing is I'm having a few barbecues, but I seem to be getting worse, and I don't know why. My first one was brilliant, and then last night I just couldn't get the barbie off enough. So, really? yeah, but my wife's very good. Haley's very good. So. Um, but I, you know, I do my bit, to be fair. Yeah, I quite enjoy cooking. If you've got time, it's all time, isn't it? I think that's the thing, come back to my point before, when you've got time to to, to just either think about what you're going to have and you've got time to cook it and put a few tunes on in the background, then it's Thanks. it's fine, isn't it? I don't get stressed about it at all. Um, oh, I've, I've loved it, mate. I've, I've loved it. I've cooked, part of my day is, is, is cooking. I do the cooking. The other night I made, and I know you're going to be into me here, Thai prawn. <laughs> they were, were unbelievable. I, tell I don't you know what you mean. Ever, I don't know what you mean. Was <laughs> they were? I, I, I was like I was like a young Ken Hom at that at that walk. <laughs> Takeaway movie night tonight. I think yeah. We've we've been. Um, our girls like playing board games as well. They love it. They get very competitive, and we bought the internet. I wonder where they get that from. Yeah, we bought Pluto over the last few days, and we've been playing that on the Switch. And you can all quite good actually you get you get this room on the screen and you all sit in different parts of the room and and we we can't beat the youngest she's three from three she's an absolute ninja at it so at Cluedo. yeah yeah she is so she's three from three so we have game night and then we've got movie night tonight so the uh, takeaway and movie night so just little again little things <laughs> like before little things that invariably you you probably wouldn't have thought of doing and, and yeah. that side of it has been has been nice are you, having a, are you having a pint on the, in the, that garden, your new patio at any stage? I'm I, I, I saying my, my happy hour starts at 4pm. 
oh well you know me Warren I'll be doing my training first yeah and um, you know I might open a can or a bottle of wine but everything in moderation you know we've we've got to keep ourselves healthy <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me what you really had off off air but, well I, I'll, I'll, I might get the gin out as well tonight I'll um I'll use the opportunity to plug my sister really I mean some of some people I don't know whether people know at all but my elder sister Kate she she has a wine business which she's had for 20 years and uh, obviously she's been hit hard by this situation yeah. and some of her sites at Mackie Mare and Altrincham have been shut down and uh, the shop was is still I think the shop in Didsbury has, has been shut down now but she's still been delivering so you know I, I've been trying to support Kate with that amongst all you know lots of people we know as well trying to trying to buy off her and um, I'm quite lucky with 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 Kate being in the in the business, I get sent some nice stuff, and so yeah, we're partial to a glass of, a glass of wine at the weekends and trying to support Kate through this difficult time. What's, the business, what's the business called? Yeah, let's let's put it. Well, it's Reserve Wines. So she's got a shop. It all started about twenty years ago in Didsbury when we all yeah. lived there, and yeah, I remember. we all hooked in, clearing out the shop on Burton Road, and um, slowly she's built up a really good business and. You know, in recent times, she took spots at uh, the new market in Altrincham, Mackie Mare in town, a uh, place at Bent's and a place in Macclesfield. But obviously, I think Bent's are still trading out in Wigan. But apart from that, everything's been shut down and it, it, it's had a big impact on her business, obviously. But then people are still drinking at home. So, you know, she, she, the delivery side of her business has, has taken really? off. But um, Knowing you like a do chill, I can't see many... Uh... Many bottoms of Blossom Hill being in your uh, in your fridge at home. I bet it's I bet it's the finest of uh, finest of grape, isn't it? No, oh, you know what? You, you, I'm so misunderstood. You, you get it all wrong. You've had this for twenty years with you. You know, you think you're from the roughest part of Salford, and this, that, and the other. I'm not, I'll just drink what I like. I'll drink what I like, Warren. I've not. It doesn't have to be a price on it. I'm lucky that I get twenty percent discount from Kate. So, Chappy um, loves that. Chappy loves a. He'll love a well, bargain as well. Chappy, what you what you? He's got what, a good nose, is Chappy. Let me tell you, he's got a good nose. <laughs> well, I'm, as you probably know, I'm still a fan of the Oaky Chardonnay. Um, Chili certainly turns his nose up at that. Um, but you know, anything with a with a real bit of wood in the bottom of the bottle, that's what, that's what I like. Um, but yeah, um, I've been trying a few different wines, but uh, but I still come back to those. We, we started drinking those in South Africa in about 1997. Yeah, I um, remember. Us and Lloydie and, and, and that crew. So uh, for some reason, the the fashion went to sort of grassy and gooseberry Sauvignons, didn't it? Um, yeah, that's and I pretended, that a minute. Pretended to like them for a while, but... Uh, but they've never really taken hold of me, so. Um, back to the hard stuff. Yeah, back to the man's drink. Okay, <laughs> <Chardonnay. laughs> And I, I, the, the lads that we've spoke to as well, you know, every one of them have said the things we're missing is he's been able to pop out and pop out, you know, to to a restaurant or or to your local boozer, like like you've said. Is it is that pretty much what you're feeling like? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I'm not bothered too much about, about restaurants. The, the kids love going out as a family and doing Sunday lunch and things like that. So we are missing that. Um, going to the pub for a couple of hours on a Thursday night or something. Uh, that's just, you know, that's, that's something that's in our, in our DNA, isn't it? We just, we just yeah. enjoy that. You know, I, I think there's, there's a way around that. Hopefully at some point we'll be allowed a little bit more freedom where we, we know what we're allowed to do. And I think this social distancing is obviously here to stay for a period of time. Um, but just where you can have a conversation with friends and, and, and have a drink together, that might at some point become become doable. I think that's what that's what um, we're missing the most. Yeah, same about you, Chill. Yeah, pretty similar, really. I mean, you know... I do like being at home. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite comfortable at home, and you know, my wife gives me stick for that. I'll often come back from an away trip, and Haley will be quite keen to get out and maybe go for some food. But I always like staying in, uh, so I'm quite comfortable at home. But like Glenn, you know, 
a pub trip here and there and I don't know I just miss I miss coming into work and seeing seeing the lads and I think the the thing I get excited about for the season is you put a lot of hard work in in the winter and you put a lot of work in with individuals and even you know down to the academy age groups and the summer's really an opportunity as coaches to you know, you don't sit back and do nothing, far from it, but but a lot of the work that you invested in the winter, you're trying to see how that all plays out. Um, and, you know, that at the minute is the is the biggest source of frustration for me, the thought of not having too much cricket in the summer and then going back into another winter programme. You know, you're not actually seeing that, that work that you put in, you know, develop in the, in, in the summer where, where ultimately you just want to see lads go and perform and try and perform at their best. And, um, so I, I miss that a bit, but hopefully, you know, we don't know, but hopefully we'll still get get a reasonable portion at the back end of the summer, and you know, everyone can have some opportunity to try and try and put some performances in across the board, not just our pro squad, but you know, all the young all the young players and the county age groups players that have been working so hard and practicing so hard all winter. You know, they deserve the opportunity to try and try and put that into action and see how they get on, but. You know, we just have to do what we're told at the minute. You, you, you touched on on uh, keeping keeping in communication with with the lads and your players. You know, everyone from from the senior players right the way through to the uh, to the young lads on your staff. How, how have you been communicating with them? Have you been have you got some kind of group that you chat and you have a bit of banter and a bit of fun? Well, we've got um, we've got the usual WhatsApp groups, and so the messages are still pinging around on there. Um, as coaches, we've tried to, to speak to as many of the players as we can without boring the pants off them because um, yeah. generally the lads are in good spirits. You know, we've, we've, we've had to sort of um, almost give the medical team um, their priority during all of this because most of the work falls at their door. Um, they, they're getting up to speed with the nature of of everything um so they're they're more in charge at the moment um the coaches have spoken to all the players and we constantly you know keep trying to ring round now and again um but i'm a bit wary that you don't want to be ringing them for no reason and as long as they feel comfortable enough to give you a call if, if there's anything they need um hopefully that's that's the most important thing it's not really in my nature to go around just having meaningless chats with people, but um, but obviously I hope that they know they can call us whenever they want. Um, we've just been working before this. We've just been working with the psychologist Lee Richardson on something that we might be able to put to the players next week, uh, revolving around you know things you can do without physically um, physically taking part in the sport. You know that a lot of the game is played. Um, in your head if you like uh, so the mental aspects of performance are something that you can pay some attention to now and we've just been working on a bit of a document to show the players a bit of a presentation where we can maybe have some zoom chats next week with with the players in groups about about how they can work on things like visualization and readiness to play um, and hopefully that will give them something to focus on have you been doing anything fun, chill with the with the lads? Have you have you you know you're usually usually you've got you've got a, like a, a mean quiz head on. I mean, have you done any oh, yeah. quizzes with them or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, you chose not to to partake actually, didn't you? Um, but yeah, we ran a we ran a quiz last I Friday night. I don't, I don't think I got the message. Did you not? Lauren, Lauren, go on. He was I didn't get a message. Was, I promise. He was asking about Monopoly. Yeah, yeah. First five, first five. Um, Spots on a monopoly board. Oh, that's so, yeah, no, we did we did a quiz, and you can't please everyone, obviously. Uh, <laughs> none, out, none out of five after question one. The but thing is, he, he wouldn't have been focused on the cheap properties, would he? He'd, he'd have known where Mayfair and Park Lane were. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but we did. We ran a quiz last Friday, which, to be fair, I mean, I enjoyed doing it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much but it went down reasonably well I think and I think there's some thoughts to maybe trying to do that again in a couple of weeks again I think a bit like Glenn you don't want to throw it down people's uh, throats but at the same time you know just trying to 
it was nice to see everyone on the screen and just allow some some a little bit of banter to to happen across uh, we got 20 25 lads involved and um so i, I might try and do that at this time next week i think and um maybe have round two who are the smart ones who, who well that's one two one I don't mind losing to Chris Rimmer's scorer, who's got a wealth of a wealth of knowledge, broad ranging. But losing to Livy and Al Davis didn't exactly make the rest of my Friday night that pleasurable. So, just a slight tweak in the in the nature of the questions might not go amiss, Chile. The thing is, Warren, you, like I said, you can't please everyone with these things. And I tried to I tried to bring everyone together with obscure questions and not just you know play to Glenn's strengths of his general knowledge. So, um, so well, like you know, we did a music quiz. We did, a, we did, uh, I, I did some covers from music. That proved a little bit difficult, I think, that one. But, um, yeah, we, we, we've, we've done that. And, I mean, from I'd just like to say as well, from we've also, I don't know how much people know about the Hive Learning uh, platform that we use, within, particularly within our pathway. That, that's been a really good resource for us over the last few weeks. And, you know, the science and medical team have been fantastic at keeping, uh, you know, programmes up to date with Academy and EPP. And to be fair, uh, one of the, our colleagues, Jen Barden, set, set up a, a group for the county age groups and there's nearly 200 members on that. And, um, you know, that, that has just some guidance around, you know, the sort of fitness things that you to try and keep people busy with that. A few ideas about cricket. I've uploaded the odd master class that you think... Because there's, I mean, there's so much stuff flying around social media. Uh, you know, yeah. you can you can find some things that you can just pop on there, and it just allows people have got time again to to have a look through it. And so, you know, that that's proven to be quite a valuable resource, not just with our you know elite academy players, but with players across the whole age group. So they're the sort of things that we've been, amongst other things, been busy with. You both got uh, you both got dogs as well, haven't you? You both got dogs, and in fact, all three of us have got uh, got the same breed of dog. We've all got cockapoos. I bet it, I bet the dogs I think it's Christmas come all come at once. You got cavapoo. You so got cavapoo. Yeah. Just, yeah, just make sure. Let's just clear that up. But um, yeah, and I did read an article <laughs> yesterday about how you got. We'll have to you have to wean them off, but being around so much. I mean, we both work, Haley and I, so often. Austin, our dog, he's left. He's left. I mean, we try not to leave him for too long, and he he gets dog walkers yeah. now and again. But they they are so happy that you're around all the time that when we do go back to work, you know, the the advice was that you have to try, you have to try and phase it and not leave him yeah. for too long in one hit because they get used to being around. And well, to all Lancashire's members and supporters and anybody else who might be watching this, I uh, just hope everybody's doing okay. Um, and Hope everybody continues to stay safe in these trying times and best wishes. And from me, just echo Glenn's thoughts really. Um, they're challenging times, I guess, but let's, you know, we, we, hopefully you've enjoyed listening to how, what our lives have been like over the last four or five weeks. And I hope everyone is able to see the positive side of, of being in the situation we're in. Um, take care, stay safe, everybody. and. We'll all look forward to meeting at Lancashire Trafford at some point, hopefully in the not too distant future. So thanks for having us, Was.